But let's go right along the couch um, and just ask if there's any last advice or tips in promoting your band or um, in getting noticed. Shall we start with you, Sha? Tell us something, the most interesting promotional thing you've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know if this really helps at all, but just like as sort of like a music gig, um, I really, really love bands that do crazy out of the box things. Like for example, um, I'm a big fan of the promotional tactics of bands like Fall Out Boy and 30 Seconds to Mars because those bands are all about their fans. Um, for example, 30 Seconds to Mars is a project that I'm working on for work at the moment. So they're coming over in August this year and we set up this crazy 10 week treasure hunt. So basically we laid um, actual clues out on the internet with different medias, media organisations hosting the clues. So fans have had to hunt them out, solve the riddles, which give them a clue, which um, they go to our EMI website to unlock an actual jigsaw puzzle piece. And then they have to put the jigsaw puzzle piece together to make a ticket. And then the first two people um, on the final day that managed to solve everything first, um, the first prize winner, they win like a Fixies bike and um, they get meet and greet with band and concert tickets and then there's other runner-up prizes and I just like stuff like that. What's the website to go on that treasure hunt? Uh, it's the insound.co.nz. Oh. Savina, any, any last thoughts? Just be nice. <laughs> be nice. <laughs> and just keep, just keep playing live, write lots of songs. Um, get feedback and advice from people that you know and trust and you know they're going to give you good feedback uh, back to you um, and just I don't know don't, don't take things too personally when you have little setbacks or if you approach a journalist and they say no uh, you know don't don't worry about any of that kind of stuff just keep doing what you're doing and and, it, and at the end of the day it should just be about the music and because you like doing it so you just keep doing it and you'll just learn to perfect your craft and it'll you'll get there positive cool that is positive best advice be nice um yeah i would say take your time there's like no real rush to be world famous or anything like that and because there's plenty of time you know what i mean and um, you know, you should develop as a musician because, you know, in two years you might not like the kind of music you're listening to at the moment anyway. Or, you know, and, and you might look back on your old stuff and go, oh man, that was so bad. So, you know, just let yourself grow and then, um, and make sure you, you know, only do stuff that you like or whatever, or if you, um, Say if your manager's written a bio and you read it and go, man, this makes us sound so dumb, then you know it's all right to say that and go, no, I don't, you know, I don't want this. Just um, you know, be true to yourself, really. Yeah. Yeah. Just adding to what Mike said, I don't think there's any harm in being a perfectionist. Like for example, kids today, they refuse to play live until they were happy enough with their live set to play live. So yeah, there's no harm in being perfectionist because at the end of the day, like it's all about are you happy with like the way that your band is, and if you are, then you're doing the right thing.